Good morning, everybody. How is it going? Today we're playing Faceless Void. We're going into the bottom lane. This was random draft. Picked Faceless Void because it just kind of made sense to me here. You know, we want somebody that can fight early. We want somebody that can um, buy a little bit of time, preferably has a, a powerful, reliable disable. And Faceless Void just kind of fit that description out of like the best out of the random draft pool given so i thought let's just go with that that seems pretty reasonable my quest today is to destroy 30 enemy shrines you can not complete this quest in one go the most you can do in one game is seven which uh by the way you know most most people are gonna be like wait seven how, how is this like there's one here right and then there's one here oh well, yeah those are the out of base shrines but there's actually five in the base as well Right, like there's there's five more shrines and they're in the base. So there's actually seven. Um, the most you can do is is seven. Uh, you're probably gonna do seven in most games that you win. Uh, but this is still a quest that at bare minimum is going to take you five games, which I'm actually not really that big of a fan of. Like that's a little bit annoying, isn't it? But all right, what can you do? Anyhow. So we don't really have any uh, crazy special stuff planned for our faceless void. I'm pretty tired right now. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I didn't didn't really get like a, a great night's sleep yesterday, and uh, so a little bit sleepy, a little bit, a little bit tired. Please excuse that if I like do some some silly place or anything like that. But uh, yeah, anyway, so we're just gonna be playing faceless void, going up against the uh, lichen. That's odd. Definitely surprising. Now, what are we building here? Honestly, uh, a little unsure. I'm probably going to get a Helm of the Dominator just because it's really powerful. You know, some nice early game stats. Seems reasonable enough. And we can definitely use that. It's also great for farming. You know, so just a casual Helm of the Dominator and then we'll go from there. But what did we do exactly? Well, that's kind of going to be something you'll have to wait and see. <laughs> We'll have to figure that out in a little bit. Alright. So, um, I actually want to talk about Angel Arena. So, by the way, our Angel Arena title, work in progress now, I guess. Right, uh, no longer Angel Arena All-Stars. The name I currently like... Uh, actually, let's talk about the name really quick. So, uh, we've been having like a lot of discussion about the name. Because, basically, everybody agrees that, well, seeing as Angel Arena All-Stars has now picked up development again... Which is really entirely unexpected, by the way. Entirely unexpected. Uh, but seeing as they picked up development again, we're like, well, we really don't want to get into like any, you know, like we don't want to create any bad blood. You know, it's just like, well, yeah, I guess strictly speaking, you wear first, so okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, it's a little bit unfortunate for us, you know. I, I wish this hasn't hadn't happened, but it did. And we're just going to have to deal with it, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to change the, the name of our game. Now, what we change it into? Well, that's kind of a difficult question. Honestly, I don't know. Right? We don't have anything particular yet. Now, um, the we have been uh, thinking about it a lot. You know, a lot of brainstorming is happening regarding that. And I have some ideas, and I, I would like to hear your... Can I ever get a bash? Here we go. Oh, if I had gotten another one, I could maybe have gotten that kill. Well, I didn't really get lucky with bashes there, but... Eh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I... Maybe I, uh, I only have 15% right now. Yeah, 15%, that's actually like a 1 in 6 about. A little bit less than that. So... Yeah, you know, I wouldn't necessarily say we got super unlucky either. Could definitely have gotten luckier though. <laughs> There's no denying that. No denying that. All right, uh, let's go ahead and just time walk that. No reason to just tank that damage. Uh, but of course, Faceless Void is really good at this kind of lane where it's just like one anime melee hero because you trade hits with them and you always win because your bash is just so powerful. You know, like you always win that. You always, always, always win that. I also think the time dilation, seeing as they really nerfed it into shit, is probably not really that important to get anymore. Oh, that guy got a double damage. Maybe I don't want to trade him hits with him now. <laughs> not what that's going on, at least. Um, but yeah, so we've been thinking about names, and there's a few that popped up. You know, some people are like, how about we call it, like, Angel Arena Avengers or Angel Arena um, Apocalypse, you know, just to keep the, the A. And it's like, okay, you know what, I can kind of take that. 
you know, a little bit. But I really hate it, actually, on a Naval Front. Uh, the one, the, the name I personally like the most is Angel Arena 2. I know, I know, that's a little bit... Oh, oh, yeah. So why do I like Angel Arena 2? Um, the thing is that with our Angel Arena, we're actually changing a lot about the game, right? Like, I am making a lot of changes in terms of, like, the basic design that really will change the fundamentals. Or, like, not... No, 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 that, that really changed the game a lot, I guess is really what, what I'm trying to say here. Right, it's just like, oh yeah, no, this is very different. So, um, for example, you know, like in every other Angel Arena, like, you just hit bosses and they hit you back. And, you know, you kill them at 30, 40 minutes into the game because they're just essentially a big creep, so a big creep with a lot of stats. Changing that. Right, I don't want that. Can I ever get a bash? Ever? Oh. Alright. Close, I guess. <laughs> Alright, but I'm changing that. Uh, instead, I'm making it so you can kill bosses much, much earlier. Um, there is more, like, there are a lot more bosses. They are a lot more interesting. Instead of just being just a bunch of stats, you know, they actually fight back. They they have AI. They have certain kind of, um, you know, they, they have a certain, certain kind of style associated with them. And I'm actually going to make uh, a development blog soon, hopefully. Hopefully. Um, about like I've, I definitely want to make this video I'm just hoping that soon isn't promised too much right but uh, how I want the bosses to be designed so people like get a little bit more of an understanding what I'm shooting for there um, but anyway right so I'm changing that I'm, I'm changing how um, gold experience works right like how you level up because like for example in the current angel arenas oftentimes you can level up abilities seven times Right, um, and you can just do that by leveling at level one, level three, level five, level seven, level level nine, level eleven, level thirteen. So level thirteen, what you could have is you have seven points into one spell, right? So that uses up seven. So you have six left. Two of them go into your, go into, hopefully, hopefully your ultimate or probably your ultimate. Then you have four points left with which you can not really max out any. Like, you could max out one of them and skip out the other, but I don't know, right? Like, it doesn't really work, and I don't really like that. I want to keep it closer to regular Dota. So, with our higher level abilities, you know, you can only level them after you're level 25, right? So, up to level 25, the way you level up your hero is actually the exact same as it is in regular Dota. Just the same, right? So, at level 13, I expect you to have two abilities maxed out, one of them almost maxed out. You know, maybe a point into the talent, two points into your... Your talent, uh, two points into your ultimate. Oh well, by max out I mean you know level four, the 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 usual max out you would see in Dota. But yeah, you know, so that's kind of like a change I'm making there. Um, a lot of the items we are introducing are pretty crazy shit. I gotta be honest with you, like we have all kinds of crazy ideas, and I'm gonna make a separate video about that at some point in the future. Um, but like that's gonna have to wait a little while longer until I have. A little bit more detail on it. I'm still working on it, right? But really, really, really cool items. I'm actually very, very excited for a lot of them. I find them just, just fucking sick. All right, just absolutely sick. Like, um, we're planning on having a little turret that you can place down. Uh, we're plan planning on having a decoy courier. <laughs> you know, um, different crazy variations of the blink daggers. You know, all kinds of stuff. Um, then I'm introducing the farming caves, you know, I'm changing um, how the duels work. Instead of just having one duel and, you know, there's a random people dueling, there's going to be always everybody. Like, er always, always everybody can duel, you know, and that again changes a lot. That's just like a step forward. So, Angel Arena 2, I think, personally, is fitting. Because we are actually changing so much about the game to, I think, make it, like, have it be fair to call it a sequel. Now, of course, the, like, kind of, like, asshole part about that is, well, dude, what the fuck, you know, like, who defines that this is the sequel, you know, there's, like, one previous version, and to that I say, yeah, good point, but I still like it, you know, <laughs> like, I still think it's a cool name, I think it, it, it details it, and, and the thing is, too, that if we go with Angel Arena 2, you know, there's, like, a lot of different implications that come along with it, as opposed to just being, um, you know, Angel Arena 
Like this is apocalypse, right? Like if we give it another name like that, because if we have it like be like Angel Arena apocalypse, um, that to me just implies it's another Angel Arena. Right, so there's Angel Arena Reborn, and Angel Arena Black Sun, Angel Arena All Stars, and there's also Angel Arena Apocalypse. And I'm just like, oh, well, okay, well, great, I guess. Right, like, that, that's just not really that amazing, like, and not really that enticing to me. I'm just not not digging that, if I'm completely honest, right? Well, um, if you look at Angel Arena 2, and then you think about what that name implies, all of a sudden, um, actually, wait. Okay, there we go. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. But, but if you think about what that name implies, all of a sudden it's like an entirely different playing field. You know, it's like, okay, um, so like it implies it's a step forward. It implies it's a different mode. It's not just another angel. This is different. This is something new. You know, uh, which is what I'm going for. You know, again, I'm changing a lot. Um, you know, it is... I don't know. Like, it... It just implies that it's not another one of many. And it also implies that it has significant changes from the other ones, which it does. Right? It is. So, the similarity between Angel Arena Black Star and Angel Arena uh, Reborn is a lot closer. Like, uh, those two games are a lot closer related to each other than they will be to, to our Angel Arena. Which is why, again, I like Angel Arena 2, because it kind of, like, separates it from that. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. That's the name I like. But, again, this is still all up for discussion. That's kind of why I'm bringing it up. You know, maybe you have an idea. Maybe you are, like, appalled that I dare suggest Angel Arena 2. Or maybe you're like, nah, that sounds about right. You know, like, that, that does seem... I don't have a problem with this. And I would like to, I would like to know that. Right, like, if... What is your opinion on this? This this is very interesting to me. And also, like, if you have an idea. Uh, other ideas I think are worth considering is, like, Angel Arena Open. Which, or, um, yeah. Which is just, like, to imply that it's an open source community project. Which is what it is. It is an open source community project. And as such, I'm like, okay, you know what? I, I can dig that. You know, I can somewhat dig Angel Arena Open. Um, that's probably, like, my, my second favorite. I basically hate all of the ones that are just angel arena random word <laughs> right like those are I, I don't really like them we also like while we had this good discussion had some funny ideas like for example angel arena um uh can we get another bash angel arena can we get another bash oh yeah we can okay angel arena time to get out <sighs> A little bit unfortunate, but what can you do? Oh yeah, you're like super dead. Hmm. Sorry. Yeah, that that didn't really work. I mean, that would have worked if there wasn't uh, a random fucking a life stealer and invoker. But oh well, what can you do? Yeah, I didn't mean to use the Chrono as a defensive option. I actually wanted to kill the guy, but I couldn't. Which is why I didn't. <laughs> Alright, like, that's why that didn't end up playing out the way I wanted it to. Um, oh, come on, give me a bash. Like, one of them, ever. Okay, well, we didn't get hit by that, so that's good news. Um, Enigma goes down. Kill this. Nice. Okay, it's all good. All good in the hood. Or something like that. Dude, I'm like the most gangster. Uh, 15 attack speed or 5 strength. I think I'm actually gonna go with the attack speed here. Um, face was void. You wanna, you wanna attack quickly. Yeah, a time dilation just isn't that good anymore. <laughs> like, they really nerfed this. Which is understandable, because it, it was quite ridiculous. It was. It was a little bit dumb. Alright, like, I, I get why. But it, it's really not very good anymore. Okay, we got we got a good bash there. Which I'm fairly happy about. Um, I'm also dead, which I'm fairly unhappy about. Yeah, the Invoker being a bit of an ass. Yeah, I was just gonna die there, honestly. Like, I, I couldn't really dodge that. Um, not too much, anyway. Deafening Blast was still gonna connect. Oh, well. 
Well, maybe I could have tried at least, but I just also wanted to kill. And honestly, I didn't think it was going to kill me that quickly. That was just like a, a bit of an awkward situation, but all right. So yeah, anyway, um, feel free to let me know what, what you think would be a nice name for our project here, right? Like, people are like Angel Arena Community, Angel Arena Open. I'm for, I'm, I think Angel Arena 2 is pretty neat. Um, should just call it like Angel Arena 7. Angel Arena 3. For really no reason. Just, just because we can. <laughs> There's no Angel Arena 2. Uh, Angel Arena 420, let's go. Um... Okay, let's, let's, let's actually not do that. But it would be kind of funny. Um, yeah. By the way, Faces Void, Talents. 600 time walk cast range. It's actually a little bit crazy. You know, it's level 25. It's, it's very powerful, actually. So, um, Yeah, that puts this thing at over Blink Dagger range. Like, almost 1300 cast range. That's a lot. That is very, very powerful. Um... So, yeah. You know, that's something that... Definitely uh, worth keeping in mind here. Okay, that, that camp is, is stacked enough. Sadly, I don't have my lightnings yet. And until I have my lightnings, I'm not really able to, like, go in super hard on these camps. But I should, should get it now, yes. Thank you, thank you. Although, that one camp, like, that ancient camp is actually, like, tough as fuck. <laughs> I don't know if I can kill that. Like, that is, that is pretty big. I may actually just dominate this guy. Yeah. Give me some armor, let's go. You know? So, we got lightnings now. We're gonna try to kill this. Oh, well, it seems we're actually doing alright. Again, this camp is... Oh, now I know what we're doing all right. Because the guys in the back aren't able to attack us. That's pretty good. <laughs> so we get this relatively uh, free, funnily enough. Oh, now I killed the wrong one. Oh, shit. Ooh. Okay, shrine this up. Dude, this is fine. Like, what else am I going to use a shrine for? <laughs> <laughs> gotta trigger those things, you know? You gotta actually bring them on cooldown. Or put them on cooldown, I mean. Put the armor on again, we're gonna hit you. Over there. Actually, I guess I can keep you around here. Now that I killed this. No, 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 no. We wanna... We want you to go over there. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, um... But yeah, uh, feel free to leave a comment. With like, you know... And... And name or an opinion on... On what we should do here. Oh shit. No! Oh god, please don't kill it. Yes. That sucks a little bit. <laughs> did we stack it? Oh, did we? No, we didn't. Did we? No, I think we did. Oh, that's kind of funny. <laughs> that actually, surprisingly enough, ended up working out for us. Alright, I mean, I'm not complaining. I didn't expect it, of course. Um, Eevee, can you, like, wait for Tarot shit? Okay. Go ahead and clear out this. Go ahead and clear out this really quick. Hey, these camps are worth a lot, you know. Gotta, gotta kill them. Gotta kill them. Nice. Almost have our Mjolnir. And from then, I don't know, BKP, probably. Yes. Could also just, like, get lifesteal. Um, Vladimir is, is an option, of course. But Vladimir is kind of always an option. Uh, Alright, we got a bit of a situation. It shall be. Bit of a situation, but uh, not like a crazy situation, just like a little Face bit of a... Forward. But, um... You know, we, we could go in. Of course, do have immense power. And such. I like this ability. Good ability. <laughs> It is very powerful. Like, it's actually like crazy how good the Chronosphere is. It just does so much, you know. Although having a Blink Dagger would certainly be helpful. Alright, they're, they're using a bunch of spells though. We're actually able to kind of get in here. A little bit. Ah, oh, God. Like, you, got, you, gotta, you gotta be like that. 
There was a. Okay. Okay. Um. Let's just hope. Oh. <laughs> yeah. There's no point to using the W. Um. Oh, rip. That didn't didn't really work out, did it? Ah, <sighs> man. Yeah, anyhow, uh, we are a few minutes into the video. I have, like, no idea how many exactly. It is 20. 20 and a half. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a rating. Did we do this already? God, I'm tired. I'm tired as fuck, man. <laughs> like, if I did this already, then then that's how you know, like, how how sleepy I am right now. Like, again, I just I just didn't, didn't, didn't get a good night's sleep. But that's alright. Uh, this did woke here. I kind of want to fuck with him, but at the same time, I know I will be the one that gets fucked, so... But, you know, like... Well, on the one hand, uh... Like... Ganking Invoker, killing Invoker is, like... Probably one of my, like, top three favorite things in the world to do, but... It's just not really gonna work out for us, so... I think for now, it's, like, a little bit smarter if I stay away. Okay. I love my ice armor creep. Oh shit, are they fighting? Oh no. Okay. It's just it's just a night stalker coming in and getting a quick kill. We got ourselves a Merlina. Which is nice. It's actually a significant upgrade. Um You know, it, it does deal more damage, right? It has uh, more bounces. Like the lightning just becomes more powerful in general. Alright, I kind of wanna get this guy. Okay, um... Oh, he's in a creep. Alright, that's nice. I hope his rage is on cooldown. Yeah, I think so. That's, of course, one of the advantages of Faces Sword as well. So, 7 armor at 25 damage. Pretty sure 7 armor is just significantly better. Pretty sure. Although I'm not like... You know, obviously I'm not... 100% confident, um, because it kind of depends, but a 7 armor is a lot, and 25 damage isn't. <laughs> like, that's just the thing. So, um, yeah, fairly certain we want to go for the armor there. Also with this, 8 more armor. Dude, I'm tanky. How much armor do you Like, 27 armor, let's go. <laughs> I can definitely take some hits. <laughs> oh man, that's actually kind of funny to me. Yeah, it's just just as amusing to have this little creep run around, just buffing people. You know, it's not really doing anything crazy. It's just like here you go, have some armor. Um, should probably buff my teammates too. You know, here you go. It shall be. Have a little bit of armor. Uh, what are we going for next? Honestly, probably be good. Oh, she. Okay. Oh. Oh. Fuck you. Let's go. Yeah, I'm gonna kill him first because fuck that guy. Like, I have a deep, passionate hatred for Invoka. So, that guy gotta go first. Ah! Oh, just when Elite got off cooldown. Well, I got the triple kill. I mean, that's somewhat alright. Um. Yeah, so. My plan actually kind of worked out there. Uh, I killed the Invoker and then the Lightnings finished off the Earthshaker. I didn't really need to do it myself. Oh, wait, you're still fighting. Wait, 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 I got Ice Armor. I got Ice Armor, go! Go! You have Ice Armor. I you, I must <laughs> no, my creep! Fuck him up! Earn! 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 <sighs> oh. Okay. Alright, not even close. <laughs> Not even fucking close. Quality fight, man. Quality fight. Hey, we team wiped them. Took a little while, but we got them. <laughs> oh, man. He did kill the creep. Yeah, that's that's true. Well, he may have won the fight from a moral standpoint, but... Yeah, actually, you know what? I don't feel good about this. It's like that one game we had recently. Well, I don't know, but like I was playing a game. 
and then we were like, we won the game, and then we went to fountain dive them, and none of them were in the fountain. They like had sneaked off into the jungle somewhere. That just didn't feel good, you know? I feel like we lost that one. Like, that just didn't feel like a victory, that game. You know, the slot game, you remember that? Like, I'm still salty about that, because like, that was such a hard game. It was so back and forth. And then they deny us the fountain dive. Right, they just, they just don't let us do it, and I'm like, what the fuck? What the fuck? What, what the fuck, Jason? What the fuck, Jason? You know, like, what, what the fuck, Jason? It's just like... <laughs> like, what's going on here? This is, this is fucking dumb. Alright. So what are we going for? Honestly, lifesteal is probably a good option. But... Butterfly is nice, too. I just need some more survivability, I think. I might just pick up, like, a casual lifesteal. You know, just a casual 1200 gold item. And then go from there into the butterfly. I think that seems reasonable, right? We can always just upgrade the 1200 gold item into a satanic later. We don't have to do it immediately. And, um... Then we just go for a butterfly. And and uh, that lifesteal should really help us a lot, I think. Maybe not. Maybe I'm overrating the value of lifesteal, though. Uh, something that's also going to be very powerful this game is actually a skunk. I think Butterfly is just better. Ah, whatever, let's just go for it. Dude, I don't fucking know. But I'm just going to go for it. Ah, sometimes you just got to make a decision. Is it the right decision? You don't know. You don't know. But you just got to do it. You know? The, only, the, like, the, the worst decision you can make is no decision. I, that, is, that is the worst decision. So anything you do is an improvement from there. So, yeah, you know what? That's all right. That's all right. Go ahead and clean out this really quick. Man, I wish I had lives too. Do we have Vladimir's? Evie, are going for Vladimir's? Okay, good. I'm somewhat excited for this. Oh, okay. Found a nerve shaker. All right. Go fuck yourself. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Got him. Ah, I like, I like Faceless Void. <laughs> oh man, I like Faceless Void. This is great. You know, it's just like, oh, there's still the woke and uh, an enigma. Oh, rest in pieces. Uh, I'm gonna go back and defend. I may need a little bit help though, because these guys are actually pretty strong. Uh, actually, a little bit scary, you know. Okay. Give me that. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> it's my wolf now. <laughs> yeah, sadly, we did have to go back here. Um, I know it sucks, but they would have actually just killed our barracks. They would have just. He just would have done it. You know, it just could have gone in there and just just done it. You know? It's crazy. It's crazy. Alright. Okay, uh I like my lightning still. Like honestly, that's working out pretty well for me, I think. So 300 L for 120 gold per minute. Um 120 gold per minute is kind of decent. I actually think this game is gonna last a little while longer, isn't it? Yeah, let's go with the gold. I'm not sure if that's the right call. I'm actually very skeptical regarding that. Very, very much so. Um, yeah, that kind of sucks. Oh, by the way, one more thing I, I wanted to tell you about. So, um, we, I told you about our new Pathfinder campaign, right? So, I have made my character. And uh, after quite a bit of consideration, I have decided to go with a Druid. Which seems to fit what I want to do. You know, seems pretty cool. <laughs> Not sure if it's exactly what I'm looking for, but it should be all right. Should be clo- Oh, 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 time to go. Holy shit. Okay, we're gonna take him. God fucking damn it. Give me, give me, give me the bashes. There we go. Ah, shit. Kind of hoping he wouldn't show up. <laughs> uh, well, I got two of them. Yeah, um, but I decided to go with a druid. You know, I, I, 
I don't know. It just seemed like Druid would do what I want to do. Um, and so I built my character. And uh, I built my character the way I like to play my characters. You know, I, I guess that's pretty obvious. Right? But my character currently, and he isn't entirely done yet. I'm still working on it. But my character currently has uh, 27 sense motive. Which means that if I'm checking for sense motive, I'm rolling a d20 plus 27. <laughs> and in case you don't know, according to Savise, if you have a 40, like a, if you roll a 40 on something, that's an epic feat, which is kind of like, you know, like if you're tracking something, you know, if you're like looking for footprints or something, then that's figuring out the exact location of a rabbit based on footprints that are a week old under the snow that you didn't see um like that, that you that, that that you cannot find without you know that that kind of role. Um, that's kind of like the, the 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 power level we're talking about, I suppose. And I find that very amusing. That I am just going to be able to like regularly roll these insane checks. And by the way, it's not just sense motive. I have twenty sex, twenty six um, diplomacy, which means that I can talk anybody into everything. <laughs> Since we are going to be traveling around a lot, I have decided to go with a reasonable 25 survival. Um, that seemed like an appropriate amount, really. You know, nothing too crazy, just a little bit. So, just casual 25 survival. Um, yeah, I really need lifesteal. I think that last fight would have gone so much better for us if I had lifesteal. Also, if I hadn't run out of mana, but that was just EMP. There's not much I can do about it. Um, so, I'm going to buy lifesteal. Right. And also, I'm going to be able to just, like, I don't know, I'll just have, like, a lot of extra money now, you know, 120 extra gold per minute. Let's go. But, yeah, uh, so let me get this. No, sell. Thank you. And eventually, now, has the Vladimir's. God, if that last fight, if in that last fight we had Vladimir's, oh, that would have changed everything. Like, I'm not even joking, you know, that little bit of lifesteal really makes a huge fucking difference. Um... The thing is, I don't have that much HP. I deal a ton of damage, I just don't have that much HP, you know, so... Um, I actually, like, percentually, uh, like, percentage speaking, I regenerate a lot if I lifesteal. I actually regenerate a ton. So, yeah. But anyway. So, my, uh, I also have insane perception. I think I have 24 perception? 23? Something like that. Um, also, 19 intimidate. I'm just very good at, like, very few things. Like, I'm insanely good at those few things, terrible at everything else. And um, my all of my spells, like all of the stuff I went for in terms of spells, is stuff like... Um, okay. Okay. Um, oh, he's in the fucking catapult. Mm, so close. Uh, shit. Leap. Nice. Okay, we got movement speed again. Okay, get out. Um, honestly, this fight isn't over yet. Okay, we got him. That's good. We got him. That's good. And we're gonna kill him, actually. Cool. We won. I'll trick him. <laughs> I like faces one. Um, well, for a rampage, I actually need one more guy to kill. Oh, wow. That's a lot of buybacks. All right, let's get out. No, we don't even just have a moral victory. This is actually a huge monetary victory. Like, their resources are just dead now. They just lost so much money for those buybacks. That's actually... Like, that is almost better than Barracks, you know? That's crazy. Alright. But yeah, um, and for my spells, because again, I'm just going for utility. So, uh, I have a teleport, I can fly, I can um, shift Earth around, which I'm not really sure if that's a good spell, but essentially what I can do is I can, like, use magic to dig. <laughs> <laughs> I can make light, I can make walls, I, I, I have like almost no damaging spells, and I, I didn't go for an animal companion, which is what, I don't know, like, is the common thing to do. Instead of going for an animal companion, I decided to go with, um, 
with uh, alignment with or like uh, with gaining like control over the weather so like i like to joke that my animal companion is the weather because it kind of is you know like i don't have a companion like i don't have a pet which is what usually druids do instead i can control the weather <laughs> <laughs> and then as a result of that, I happen to have, you know, like a bunch of lightning spells, which is like the only source of damage I've got, right? Uh, I can make plants grow, I can make earth appear, I can make water appear, you know, uh, I can do all kinds of crazy nonsense. Um, very little actual fighting. But in terms of actual fighting, I don't really care, you know what? Like, I don't need to actually fight you if I can fly past you. Or teleport behind you. Like, that all works fine for me. Like, that's all I need. Alright, we're almost level 25. Only 100 experience left. So once we're level 25, of course, we are going to take the 600 time walk cast range. 20% evasion. Uh, you know, we already got butterfly. We don't really need more evasion. That's just unnecessary. So we're going to go with the, with the time walk cast range. No. I'm not actually sure if the talent tree evasion stacks diminishingly. If it does... Then uh, I'm I'm pretty sure that going for time walk is better. If it doesn't, then I'm actually not that sure anymore. But I'm I'm pretty sure it it, it should be diminishing. Anyway, six no time walk cast range. Uh, so this is the AOE now. Like it's essentially just a blink dagger. Okay, I got blink dagger time walk now, so uh, I can initiate. So twenty five easy game. Yeah, but my character is a little bit silly, and by a little bit I mean very. Um, and I just find that very amusing, and that's really all I care about. You know, like, my character is gonna be doing crazy, nonsensical stuff, um, and I don't need anything else. You know, I don't need him to be reasonable, I don't need him to do, you know, smart things, I just need him to be funny. Uh, there we go. Triple. Cool, got him. Uh, just kind of fighting it out with him. I don't know if I'm actually gonna win this. No, I'm not. Yeah, I'm out of mana though, which is kind of the problem. But I think my team is still going to win this. Like, that's the cool thing. We do have that Shadow Fiend who's just, like, <laughs> clicking on things. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. That's fine. You know, I don't need to be the one that does everything. Alright. Please just get the barracks. What are you doing? You're going to die. That guy's gonna kill you. Oh, man. She gets a phoenix hit, she gets a rampage, so that's why she's doing it. Okay, who cares? Just please get the barracks. Alright, um... What are we doing next? I kind of need BKB. Or Scotty. I feel like actually Scotty is, Scotty is fine. I mean, okay, so my next items here are just gonna be Scotty and... Um, MKB or Dedalus, right, like, that, that's that's the next step. The thing is that I actually ran out of mana in that last fight because I got hit by EMP. I didn't really have a way of dodging it, though, like, okay, so, if I say that, I mean, I clearly had a way of dodging it, right, I could have just time leaped away. Um, but then I give up my Chronosphere, and in that Chronosphere, I kind of managed to, like, kill two heroes, uh, keep the Lifestealer busy for the entire fight, you know, like, uh, from my point of view, honestly, that Chronosphere was a huge success because we ended up getting barracks, we ended up killing all of the team, we forced another buyback. You know, that was a really good Chronosphere. Now, I didn't get the benefit from it too much because, you know, I um, ended up dying there, like, but that's fine because for our team, that was still a good Chronosphere. So, I think that overall worked out fine, right? However, however, and this is kind of the problem, um, <laughs> uh, I had to stay in the Chronosphere for the duration of it and sacrifice myself to get this value, right? So if I leap out, then I, I take that away and, and then it doesn't work out as nicely as it did, which is a problem. Actually, it's time to go. Yeah, no. Time to go. So of course the Scotty, very nice item. Gives us a lot of, lot of, lot of mana to work with. You know, just a lot of stats, and um, that's something I think we can use. Or shake it down. 
So that's kind of decent, I suppose. Can definitely do something with that. Bash? Mmm, didn't time it properly. Oh, alright. Oh yeah, he's got that too. Okay. Let's kill him. Yo, what's up? Got the triple. Um, That's gonna be the ultra. And that's the game, mostly. Yeah, it seems about right, honestly. I mean, there's an Urshaker somewhere. There's no way I can get a barracks. I just cannot do it. I uh, can we kill the shrines. I have the shrine killing quest. I just want to like make sure we get those. Uh, okay. You know, like I just want to kill the shrines. <laughs> how many, how many more do you need? Oh, like uh, 26. So we're not gonna be able to finish it, this game. But you know, like I would still like to work on it, and it's not like. You know, if there's any downside to it right now. This game is over anyway. Does your team have to fin uh, kill shrines or you? No, just the team. We just, as a team, need to kill shrines. Okay. So that's that's all. All right, cool. Uh, let's go ahead and finish this. Pretty sure there's an Urshik around somewhere. Didn't even need the Scotty. Was a pretty neat game. Worked out pretty well. Boom! I like Faceless Void. You know, like, I really, really like Faceless Void, since he's he's got that... I don't know, he gives me that feeling of, hey, I'm playing, like, the sick initiator. And I'm playing, you know, my right-click carry, and I actually like both roles, but usually they don't overlap. But anyway, uh, 27,000 gold here. Um, yeah, so based on how long the end game ended up taking, I don't think that the 120 gold per minute was actually the right way to go. But, yeah, it was actually a really close game. They definitely put up a fight, but in the end, they just couldn't handle my Chronospheres, man. They just couldn't handle it. <laughs> Alright, let me go ahead and just do the giveaway really quick, and then that's going to do it for today. So, yeah. Uh, today's winner of the giveaway is... It's loading. Give it a second. Uh, let me go ahead and see what, we, what, I'm, what we're giving away today. Uh, how about this? What was it? Oh, it's just some alchemist mask. Nothing crazy. Sorry, you lost, I guess. You know, compared to the other stuff that's in here. Digimon Dutyfy. <laughs> it's kind of a funny name. You win. Uh, if you want that, feel free to send me a message. I'm going to give it to you. And uh, yeah, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave an opinion on the like Angel Arena thing because I'm actually very interested. And uh, I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.